I was in Los Angeles in the mid 80s and I went to an auction where Francis Coppola sold off his Zoetrope Studios. I saw this and it had that tag on it saying breakaway headboard and I bought it. And I was the only person who bid on it and I took it home and rented all his movies and it's in Godfather 2. So you found it. I did. You found it in the movie. Yeah. I'm actually really stunned that you, based on this tag, all it says is breakaway headboard, decided, I need to have this. <laughs> well, my wife says the same thing. I, I was just going to say, if I were your wife, I would have said, what, what did you bring home? All right. Clearly, there's, there's a lot going on here, and you were able to identify it from Godfather 2 because of the fact that the squibs have gone off, and this is from the scene when they try to shoot Michael Corleone. That's obviously what drew your attention when you were watching the film. You, you said, oh my, that's my headboard. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So you paid what for it in the auction? I think $25. I was the only person who bid on it. I actually have two of, the, two of them came because the shot was the bullets and then the bullets. So there's two of these. So the $25 you paid was for two? Yes, so twelve fifty <laughs> each. Well, it's funny. People who saw this, I overheard them here in the room saying, did an animal get to it? Nobody can understand <laughs> why it was we were talking about this. Right. But the reason we're talking about it is because it's Godfather 2. And normally someone might say, doesn't condition play a role with props and things like that? Obviously this was intentionally shot up. It's yep. intentionally distressed. It's super light. It's made of balsa wood so that these squibs would go off, which are the little explosives they use for special effects. to so make it really look dramatic with the wood flying all over the room. And it worked. There is virtually nothing from this film or the first film out there. There's only the things that probably Francis Ford Coppola and maybe some of the people who worked on the film have. Uh -huh. Very few items have come out for auction. We have a few costumes, hats. Costumes are easier, they seem to survive more, mainly because at the studios, they would put them back into the wardrobe rotation to be reused. Right. With a prop like this, they blew it apart. You couldn't reuse this. So it probably would have been trash at any of the studios, but he kept it, yeah. and then you bought it. Right. So now we talk about value. Because there are so few things, and because Godfather 2 was the first sequel to ever win Best Picture, in addition to the first film. It actually won six Oscars, right. and Godfather won only won three. I didn't know that. Over time, we often talk about with collectibles, what's the enduring legacy of a film, or what's right. the enduring legacy of a star? The enduring legacy of the Godfather movies are to the moon. Because of that, at auction, conservatively, I would put an estimate of probably six to $8,000 on it. Oh, cool. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs>